greeting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Open Heavens Daily Devotion, written by our General Overseer, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. My name is Kunle Adetola. I pastor one of the redeemed Christian Church of God parishes called Fountain of Life in Welling Garden City. The topic before us this morning is the price of being a standard. The Bible passage is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 to 18. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what accord has Christ with Bela? Or what part has a believer with an unbeliever? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you. I will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Our memory verse is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. It says, Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you. Reflection. To be a standard means being a role model. It means that all eyes are on us as the standard. Obviously, it's not an envious position to be in, but it has beneficial consequences. I remembered uh, when I wanted to buy a property a few years back. There was one of these houses that was used as the show house. It means it is in its best form. Any of the houses that you look at, when you enter these houses, all the accessories which were simple were fitted with attention to detail and meticulous. Although it was the same size with other houses that were being sold, but because it was meant to be in the standard and the show house, it was priced above all other houses that were in the market at the time. There are people in the Bible who have decided to stand out during their own time. For instance, Joseph's brothers were playing pranks with their father. Joseph was upright and trustworthy. Daniel was a role model and a standard in Babylon. Joseph suffered in the hands of his brothers and he went ahead and got into trouble at the house, in the house of Potiphar for standing up to be a standard. But he ended up as a prime minister in Egypt, he ended up saving his brothers from destruction. Daniel too, stood out to be a standard in Babylon and of course, cutted with trouble by refusing to deny his God, by calling upon him in defiance to the law that forbade such a practice. In the end, he was justified. As you stand out at this time, shining uprightness and maintaining your allegiance to the Lord, it will elevate you and make you someone that others will look up to and marvel at what the Lord can do in your life. There's a price to pay, but the benefit is worth the price. Action point. Watch out for all the evil deeds of this world and try to separate yourself from doing them. You will soon be noticed as different and you will become a standard to the glory of God. My prayer is that not only will you be outstanding, you will stand upright in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. Have a great day.